Hi, this is Dr. Cooper, and this is a screencast for the English 102 Freshman Composition course. This quick screencast will show you how to register and get your Digo account all set up. So what you want to do is go to Digo, D-I-I-G-O dot com, and click the Get Started Now button. What you'll need to do is choose a username and fill in the information here. So what I'm doing here is using my MEID to make it easy for me to remember and my email address, I got a password and I typed in these terms here and I'm going to click continue. So as you can see I am now I have a Digo account and it says welcome. Woohoo! Now what you want to do is one of two things. One, if you've received the email that I sent you um, about joining the English 102 group go ahead and click on that email. So here's one that I sent myself and in the email it tells you that you are being invited to the Freshman Comp Digo group and you click the link. So if I click join this group now that I have an account I will be added to Digo. Okay so here you can see that I am now a member of the English 102 group. So what you want to do is type a message in for me say this is and then put in your name I'm gonna say my name is Allison and I just join the group. Okay, so that way I know that you made it in. Now here you have to decide um, how you want to receive the email from this group. Do you want it to come immediately or do you want it to be daily? So if it's immediately that means that you'll get numerous emails a day. If you just click daily you'll get one email a day with everything in it. That's the one that I recommend. So click finish. The message will be sent to me, the owner. I will know that you made it successfully into the group and you have set up your subscription. Okay, so now let's take a quick look around. Okay, so what you can see is this is my account. This is my real account. The one I just set up is over here with no picture. We'll show you how to create a picture and profile in a second. But over here, this is the real me. <laughs> and you can see that I saved our English 102 blog site. So when you bookmark something, it keeps a record of it in here. And then people can come in and add comments. So you can see that I've added a comment here and I would just click comment and say this is our blog site for the class. So this link here when I click it on it and open it in a new tab you'll see is just our um, English 102 online site. So I bookmarked it here and then we can comment on it. So we're not going to comment on our website but what we will comment on are some of the other websites that you're going to be bookmarking here. So let's say you want to bookmark your own site to add to here. So I click bookmark and you can add the information in here. Okay so let's bookmark the article that we read in assignment number one Arizona's other crazy new law. So what we need to do is first get the URL go back to Digo, type in the URL and then add in the title your comment and some tags. Okay, so here you can see that I have added the title, the URL, my two to three sentence summary of the website that I was just talking about, and then some tags. All you need is a space in between your tags. So the class tag is personal plus freedoms, don't forget that one, but then what else is that article about? Immigration, laws, Arizona. And then I'm going to click post and now I have saved my bookmark to our group. Now if you happen to be just in Digo and you're not in the group all you have to do is save your bookmark to your group. So let me show you how that works. Okay so now I'm in a in my bookmarks and I'm not in a group. So what I'm gonna do is save a quick bookmark and then I wanna make sure that I add it to the group. Okay so I, I typed in the information I'm gonna click more this is where I'd write in my summary uh, and then I want to add share to a group. So here's my group that shows up and I add the new bookmark and now not only have I saved this to my library but if I click on my groups and go back to the English 102 group you will see that now my new bookmark that I've added is there. And the same thing when you add bookmarks they'll show up as well. So that's how you register for Digo and you save your bookmarks for assignment number two.